Good morning, Man 25 Gamers. In today's episode of Defensive Scheme of the Week, we're going to be taking a look at our big nickel defense, and we're going to be looking at some run defense today. We're going to show you how to stop the run from this. One of the reasons a lot of tournament players are utilizing this playbook, uh, or this formation necessarily, is because of how good it is at stopping the zone, pat, the zone running schemes that are very common in Man 25. The play we like to use for our base run defense um, is actually our base play. Um, it's actually going to be from the Storm Red, um, and so that's very simple. Very simple because we already have it. Um, so we're going to use a different setup than what we listed as the base setup, and this is going to be our run defense setup. What we like to do uh, when utilizing the run defense, we like to base a line. If we're playing strong close, we don't have to base a line. Um, then, if we're in a situation where we face uh, a compressed set, we like to call press press coverage. Okay. Now, all we're going to do to set up the run defense for this is pretty simple. We're just going to crash our defensive line to the left. We're going to put Roach here in a hook zone, and we're going to user him over the A-gap. So it is the base setup, but we're not going to pass commit. On all the other setups, we pass commit. We're just going to sit in this A-gap, and once we see the ball, that they're running the ball, we're just going to come right through it. So here we just come right through, we see the run, and the idea is this safety over the top is going to play it very effectively. Now, if you guys do not like this setup, what I recommend doing, if you know they're running the ball, then grab onto Woodson here. Just call the play stock, grab Woodson, and then just user him. And you're just kind of going to lurk the gaps. So that was a poor example because I'm using two controllers. Um, but basically, your job with Woodson is to cover the run. So here, so we'll just cover right into the gap here. And then I'm just trying to show you the concept. Once you're in game, it's a lot. you can be a lot more aggressive because all you have to do is tackle the guy. But here again, you see right here, at this point, you have it stopped. You just got to get up there and make the tackle. Uh, but the cool part about this is the zone run is really ineffective against this play. Again, zone run right, just set the edge with Woodson, and you have you know big big bodies down in the middle. They have to be big for you, of course, but again, that's just part of it. So here again, zone run left, and again, just I have to be able to tackle. Unfortunately, I haven't haven't played in a while uh, with my user control. I've just kind of been labbing, but again, you just you're just gonna get into the gaps there. Um, Hopefully, I can give you a, you know something other than a piss poor example of this. I'll give you one moment here. Apologize for the horrible user control, but uh, this is part of my game this year, I guess. I do like to base line if, if it's not a compressed set as well. But again, here, and I, why am I so bad right now? But you see the idea. I mean, I'm in the in the vicinity. I just can't wrap up. See, I just had to come in there and make the play with the user control. So that's all it is. Um, if you want to pass commit, you can, um, but usually when people pass commit, it's not always effective. Just saying. Uh, that's just something that I've noticed. If you're playing read option, obviously you want to option the quarterback. But again, um, here, zone run, and you're just going to fill the gap with Woodson. Uh, with the Raiders, we'll obviously find somebody else that's a little bit better to use her with in our depth chart setup. But again, that's just part of the game. So again, right run, and you're just getting there with Woodson. So... That's our basic run defense. If you guys have any questions, uh, I know you probably will. If you have questions, if you need tips on how to stop the run, let me know. Stopping the run's hard in general, guys. Uh, but remember, use that safety in the gap, shoot the gaps, and uh, just kind of stay your role. Um, you know, if you're running, if they're running to the left side here, your job in the big nickel bear is different than from all the other formations. Your job is to make the tackle. Um, so here, your job is to come in, make that tackle in the backfield. The guys on the outside set the edge for you, which is really nice out of this because it allows you to be aggressive. But if you're like me and have horrible user control, sometimes that can be costly. But again, there you go. Very, very simple. Very simple run defense. You're just basically calling the play. And um, here we'll look to, to the right here. Uh, go ahead and base a line just to get everybody lined up in a good spot. And then you're just going to get here, get wide. Uh, that's a freak scenario. <laughs> I don't know what happened on that one. Let me see if I can get a dive here. So this is what a dive looks like. Now you see re-dive and you just come down the A-gap. And again, I don't know why I can't wrap the ball carrier up right now. I think I think I have I might have um, been like my team the other day and just came to came to came to work a little bit uh, a little bit hungover or something <laughs> like my team did in my in our performance the other day against uh, Bronco. But again, you see the. That's pretty pretty decent. I mean, that's the best I think that you could be able to do 
uh, out of the big nickel bear. I really like this run defense. It's just very simple. You know, you just call the play and you just say, okay, I'm going to use the safety instead of the linebacker. Now, again, if they caught you off guard, maybe, if you are using the control in the linebacker, say you're in one of these setups like so, then you're just going to, again, you're just going to fight through it. Just fight through the line of scrimmage. Look at that. Two people in the backfield still can't wrap him up. But you see the idea. So hopefully this run defense can help you out. If not, if you need a little more thorough explanation or if you have a specific question, let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, guys, be sure to come back tomorrow. We'll show you our basic zone blitz and our basic man blitzes. Uh, and then we'll wrap up this defensive scheme of the week and show you how to use it in-game. Thank you for watching. Be sure to come back tomorrow. Thank you.